Hey, welcome to Paige. I don't know. Page 51. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Sincerely Lady C, where I find a corner and I'm just as sincere as possible with this uh, crazy thing called life. Um, and I brought a guest with me. I, 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 that it's was... okay. It didn't work out. What are we going to talk about? The IVF class. Alright, today we're going to talk about uh, the IVF class. About how we felt after taking the IVF class. But before we get into any details, I gotta hit you with an intro. Um, this is really how she was supposed to do the intro. So, um, I'll go first. For me, I was pretty overwhelmed at a lot of the information. Um, I started off trying to take notes, but then I kind of just gave up. I didn't take any notes. <laughs> the nurse sent PowerPoint and sent a uh, packet. Um, but I was trying to keep up, but it was a lot for IVF. Mom set in on the meeting too, so that was good. I'm not gonna say that I feel overwhelmed. I feel kind of calm. Um, uh, I mean, when we were sitting there, um, the only thing, well, after the lady had got to probably like the third page, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. I didn't take notes, but we, we have a PowerPoint, so that um, is going to be my best friend. I don't know about your best friend, but my best friend is going to be the PowerPoint. <laughs> one thing I did get out of it is make sure I call on day one of my cycle. And that's about it. Like everything else, I know she's going to hold my hand through. Yeah, I. to be honest, there, I, there's not much with so much that you have to do with something. You may have to take a pill. You may not have to take a pill. <laughs> and then like you have to do... Be day 26, here. you gotta do something. Yeah, you gotta be here on this day, be there on this day, get medicine shipped to you, all kind of crazy stuff, so. But like, I think she literally went through the whole cycle process. Um, and in, a, in an hour, which, which was really, so she gave us an hour of details that's gonna take about three to four months. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing that I thought about too. Um, that it's going to take three to four months. I really kind of thought it was probably going to take two months. But um, because we chose to get our eggs genetically test or our embryos genetically test. Yeah. So, like, with that, uh, what happens is as soon as they, um, well, not as soon, but when they fertilize the, the egg, they take that some cells from the embryo and they uh, test those and they test the chromosomes and how many chromosomes and uh, they can tell if it's going to be boy or girl in the Petri dish. So I thought that was pretty cool. I say, I, I just missed a lot of it. when So when I, I have to take in information like slowly, that's just how I am. Mm -hmm. and, then because, and then because I am a perfectionist on top of that, I want to do everything perfect. So, me being a soul learner and me trying to do things perfect is just not a good mix. But then so. I couldn't even keep up with it. And I'm usually kind of like, and asking questions and repeating what she says no, and I stuff. I gave up. I, I kind of honestly did. I gave up. But the only thing that, and, and this is really, I really don't have anything else to say really after this. <laughs> because it, it was so much. <laughs> this is the last thing that I have to say is when the lady said, you really don't have to worry about anything. 
but all you need to do is call when you go on your cycle. And when she said that, okay, all right, we're good. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. We, we good. So that's the first thing we do know. It's day one, we call, and then after that, we'll figure it out. <laughs> or the nurse is going to hold our hands through it. Yep. But there, it seems like there's a lot of wait time in between a lot of things, too. Like, first, um, you got to take the pill for, like, 26, I think it's birth control pill for, like, 26 days. And then after that, you go in, I I don't know, but then shots, and then after shots, and then freezing embryos, and I don't egg know. retrieval, and fertilized, and <laughs> I don't testing, know. and then egg transfer, See? and then monitors. I don't know. But it was a little bit overwhelming. The only thing that I know, the only thing I know is at some point in time, it's going to be egg retrieval. <laughs> and then, and then it's going to be, uh, um, what's the other one? After transfer. They, the transfer. That's when they take the eggs and that's when they implant the eggs. And that's all, all I know. All I know is at the end, when we come out, <laughs> we will be triumphant. <laughs> So if you are following the journey, uh, what you can do is pray for us. Amen. Pray uh, for wisdom and uh, understanding. <laughs> yeah, because I have no clue of what we're doing. Or, and also, um, pray that all medications come um, purified, that my body responds to the medications. Uh, pray for the nurses. I don't know how my emotions Oh, and be. please pray for me. <laughs> yeah, you because I have to give Christine shots. I all, all I know is I myself is I'm scared of needles. I don't like needles at all. I just had a um uh some drug I mean some blood drawn not too long ago. As soon as she pulled the needle out, I turned my head because <laughs> I I'm scared. So y'all y'all gonna have to pray for me to give these shots out. But by the end of that time, I will be a professional um, administrator of <laughs> shots, medi medication. Of drugs. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all. Um, remember to pray for us um, as we proceed.